Hi, my name is Alan Bednar from Simply Hydroponics. We're here to show you today how to make a simple, easy bubbler bucket, or also referred to as a deep water culture system. What you're going to need before you get started, five gallon bucket, three gallon bucket would work, five gallon bucket's probably a little better. This is a half inch 90 degree elbow. This is a little clip to hold the sight tube in place. A half inch grommet and a quarter inch grommet. Air stone, air line, and an air pump. This is a bucket lid or a net pot that's made to fit right on a five gallon bucket. And hydroton or clay grow rocks is the growing medium we're going to use. Okay, now we have our bucket and we're ready to drill our holes. We need three different size holes, a quarter inch hole, a three eighths inch hole, and a five eighths inch hole. We're using what's called a step bit today, which is a um, graduated drill bit. It'll do all three sizes for me. You can also use three individual drill bits. First one we're gonna do is our five eighths hole, which we're gonna do about one inch or so up from the bottom. Then we're going to do our 3 8 hole, which is for our air line to come through. We're going to do that up a little higher. And then we need a quarter inch hole, which we're going to do directly up from our 5 8 hole. And this is just a little clip to hold our tube in. We're going to do it directly up from our lowest hole. Okay, we have our three holes drilled in our bucket now. So we're going to start by installing our grommet. This is our larger one. This is our half inch. This one's style is called the top hat grommet. It has a little wider top than the bottom. The wider lip should always go to the outside of your container. So we're going to plug that baby in like that. Just push it in snug. I'm going to take my half inch 90 degree elbow and my clear blue tubing. Pop that together. These grommets are very snug, so I'm going to dip this fitting in a little bit of water to help lubricate it. You do have to wrestle a little bit to get the fittings into the grommets. They are made to be watertight, so it does take a little bit of effort to get them into their hole. There we go. Now I'm going to take this little clip, which is just a tube clip, Put it into that quarter inch hole and now that will act as a sight indicator and show us what water level is left in our container. Then we're going to take our quarter inch grommet, I'm going to just dip that in water to make the tubing going through it a little easier. Our quarter inch airline tubing is going to go through that grommet to make a watertight seal. On the inside of that, we're going to put our air stone. Down into our bucket. That's the bucket now is complete. We're going to take a six inch, this is a six inch top hat style net cup filled with clay grow rocks. This is made to fit directly on top of the bucket, like so. snaps right down tight. That system is complete. All we need to do now is take a little starter cube, like a little rock wool cube, a rapid river cube, bury it down into the rocks. And it is ready to go. Bring your water level up to about a quarter inch or so up onto the bottom of the net cup typically for the first couple, three weeks until there's nice roots developed and then trying to maintain maybe a half inch to one inch air space after you have nice roots developed between the water level and the bottom lip of the net pot. One air stone is usually sufficient with a single air pump. Some people will add two air stones and a double air pump. The more oxygen you have going to the roots, the better they're gonna do. Thank you very much for viewing the video. Visit us online at simplyhydro.com and like us on Facebook and get a chance at winning $100 a month in store credit. Thank you very much and have a great day.